recitation on static pressure and fan start stop with a variable air volume system and an air handler unit. Presentations by Steve Tomaszek and Tyler Ross. Our sequence operations. It's uh, requested to run by an instructor or student from a manual switch, and the unit will run until requested off. Um, some of the safeties are supply air duct static pressure control. The controller measures the duct static pressure and will modulate, modulate the supply fan VFD speed to maintain the duct static pressure set point of 0 0.8 inches water column, and it's adjustable depending on the size of the duct. The supply fan will, shall not drop below 30%. Another safety is a high static shutdown, and if the VFD receives a signal that it's too high, it'll shut the fan off. And the supply fan will run anytime the unit is commanded to, unless shut down on safeties. Our points list. We have static air pressure, and that's an annual analog input. We have a supply fan, speed VFD, that's a bi our analog output. We have a high static shutdown, which is a binary input. We have a supply fan VFD fault, and that's another binary input. We have a supply fan start stop, and that's a binary output. And then we have a supply air static duct pressure set point, and that's a analog input. This drawing shows the supply fan, the status at the controller, the supply fan start stop at the BFD, the supply fan BFD speed, and the supply fan BFD fault. We have our supply air, air duct static pressure sensor, and then we have a high static shutdown sensor also, and that's in the air handler unit. The static pressure sensor is three-fourths of the way down the main duct. Our parts list, we have a pitot tube, we have a controller MP581, a static pressure sensor, a VFD, and a manual switch. This is our function block diagram, and this is in the running mode. Our, you can see that our switch is on to our start-stop. We have a static pressure, fan status. We have a set point, VFT fault, which is off, high static shutdown, which is off, and our VFT speed. This is it out on a high static pressure shutdown fault. You can see that the switch tripped. This is our manual data, our manufacturer's data, PF, PFDs for our VFD and our MP581. This is an insulation sketch using CAD program showing how our wiring is connected to the MP581 and the BFD, to the fan and the manual switch, and then our main power and our motor to the air handler unit. So the setup for the VFD shows the wiring from the binary output to the controller, and then from an analog output from the controller to the VFD, from the universal input to the VFD, and then from the VFD to a manual switch, and then from the fan to a binary input. And it also shows the wiring to the main power, and then to the man, or fan motor. For calibrations of the VFD, you need to use the manual to correctly program the VFD. And the override protection is a high static pressure sensor and a supply air duct static pressure sensor. The MP581 controller shows the wiring to the VFD. That's for our setup. Calibration.
installation, you need train software and programming. Mark Ryan did this. And for the override protection, there's a fuse in the controller to protect it from over and under voltage. For the PO tube, you need to install it three quarters of the way down the longest main run. Drill a hole into the duct and fasten the PO tube to the duct. Then you install the tube from the PO tube all the way to the pressure sensor and the controller. For calibration, you use another pressure sensor to measure and make sure that the PO tube is working correctly. And then if the, if the PO tube is off by a little bit, you can manually adjust the controller to offset to calibrate for the offset of 